Let's put a pier right out here. Put one right outside of the stake. The project is huge. Like the fish that once thrived here. This is the St. Louis River, just below the dam at Fond du Lac in northeastern Minnesota. Historically, it was a rich spawning ground for Lake Superior sturgeon. In the 1800s and early 1900s, you could catch good-sized fish like these here. Huge fish, man-sized fish. But in later years, they were decimated by overfishing, pollution, and loss of habitat. Pull her back, there you go. That's Minnesota DNR River ecologist Luther Odland. He's directing the placement of 1,500 tons of rock, creating riffle, glide, and cascade habitat, and cells. The individual cells that we created within the rapids create uh, semi-protected pools where there's a cascade effect that also drives oxygenated water down into the stream bed where uh, the sturgeon are likely to spawn. And if this works... To improve the spawning grounds here will make it possible for a sturgeon to spawn in, in the wild for the first time in decades. That would be good news to the Nature Conservancy, the DNR, and other agencies and groups that have partnered in this project. The DNR has had some success in stocking sturgeon. This is an egg stripping operation on the Little Fork River in northern Minnesota in 1990. The stocking of the St. Louis River began at about the same time. We started rehabilitating the population back in 1983. And since that time, we've put in 14 year classes. And that totals about 150,000 fingerling sturgeon. They're beginning to see some small sturgeon return on the St. Louis, but the females don't spawn until they're 20 to 25 years old, and they need the right kind of habitat. The first test of this restored area is simulating how it will channel water in the spring. Upstream water is released. Eight times the flow of water found here on a normal summer day thunders downstream. It'll be a while before sturgeon can be fished for here again. The plan is to wait until the first year that we document natural recruitment and then probably wait a whole nother generation so that we have fish that were naturally spawned coming back to spawn on their own. And then I think we would declare that we've, we've fully restored the lake sturgeon population in western Lake Superior. So that would be 20 to 25 years from now. Sometimes leaving things better for the next generation of people is a reward of its own. It's always enjoyable to, to see a restoration project come together because it's something that's kind of a legacy that you, you leave. I'm Denny Bear for the Minnesota DNR.